How's it going? TJ Lavin here for the SEC. I'm interviewing my friend John Alessio. What's up, everybody? He's a legend in the game, been pro since 1998. You had time. 45 pro fights. Yeah, I mean, 45. That, not to mention any amateurs and any bare knuckles out in the parking lot. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> happens, dude. Yeah, a lot of gym wars. <laughs> lot of gym wars. <laughs> so I'm yeah. sure that the gym has definitely not been kind to you because. You guys are definitely, you know, gnarly training and stuff like that. Yeah, most of the injuries really come in the gym before the fight, you know. Yeah. Not, not too much bad stuff happens during the fight. So take care Besides of this bruises. body, bro. It's a Lamborghini body, bro. Oh, it ain't no pickup truck anymore, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you got to take care of that thing, man. Well, I do, I do. Nothing but good supplements and organic foods and I like it. healthy lifestyle. Nice, you know? nice. Well, I can't say it the same for myself because I eat chips <laughs> all the But, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, it's cool, man. So what what weight are you fighting? One seventy. Nice. Yeah. And, uh, is that a big cut for you? No, um, I'm a little heavier right now because I'm coming off of an injury, so I've been sidelined for a minute. Um, so right now I'm like eighty six. Mm -hmm. So that's not too much. That's, of a cut. that's like an average mm -hmm. seventy pounder. But normally I walk around and closer to like one seventy five, one seventy eight. So real close to weight class. So I consider myself fairly small. Nice. But. I'm always in like lean shape for fights, so it's not like I pack on a whole bunch of weight between fights like a lot of guys right, do. So your so. cardio has to be off the hook. Then it's if pretty you walk good. Around. It's pretty good. Like I mean, right now you know it's the beginning of camp, so it's. I'm with suffering you. Man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Myself, uh, I put on. Come fight time though, my cardio will be insane. That's right. His, right his cardio will be insane. I've seen him come up these stairs. Don't don't <laughs> trip. All right. <laughs> Just tell him, dude. All it's, six it's, flights. It's nuts. It's crazy. <laughs> so we were talking earlier about you getting into the fight sport. Uh, real early. I mean, you bare knuckles, no time limits. You know, I, I, I remember watching UFC 1, 2, 3, Colorado mm -hmm. days and yep. things like that. I, I'd watch it in, on TV at a friend's house and I was like, dude, that's the sickest sport in the world. And boxers going after wrestlers and yeah. things like that, you know. But you were actually fighting in those days, you know. But the same thing attracted me to it was renting the UFC 1 and 2 and I was just like, this stuff is insane. Right away, I started trying to wrestle with my buddy. Never learned, did a day of martial arts in my life. No karate, didn't wrestle growing up, nothing like that. Lots of just baseball, soccer, and riding my bike, you know, things like that. But uh, I started wrestling with my buddy, and I pulled off a move that I saw Hoist do. And I was like, wow, this stuff is like, it's real, real. You know, like, mm -hmm. you still watch it on TV, and you're like, it's brutal, but you just don't know how skilled they are and what they actually know. And then uh, I met a guy that actually trained with Hoist Gracie. And he had a blue belt with him. He moved in down the street, started training in the garage. Wow. And, and uh, yeah, so I made my UFC debut, UFC 26, 99, I believe. And now it's on UFC 131 ish. Yeah. So uh, that's. 105 UFCs later. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a serious you know, accomplishment and a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you got to respect that. That's yeah, awesome. I do have a lot of experience, that's for sure. That's awesome, man. So, uh, what's next? Uh, Spirit Cage Combat. That's it. We come here and rock the house. Um, first of all, I've been waiting to fight in Vegas again since I was fighting in WEC here all the time at the Hard Rock. I've been dying. It's, it's, Vegas is cheap for your family and friends to come to. You know, you can always mm -hmm. get the hotel flight packages. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited because, you know, usually I bring a bunch of people from Canada where I'm originally from. And yeah, they're all going to be able to come down and I get to fight in my backyard. It's perfect. What part of Canada are you from? Vancouver. Nice, yeah. I love it there. Yeah, it's, it's one of my best, favorite right? places in the world. Hell well, yeah. That's cool. So you moved to Vegas, the, the fight capital of the world. Yeah, well, I lived in Southern California for like eight years training down there. I bounced around from like the Lions Den back in Shamrock back in the days. Um, just bounced around Millennia Fight Team, and then I moved here like four years ago to train for Andy. Ridden Extreme Couture, like before it even really opened, I came down here. And so you're now at guy. Extreme Couture? Yep, Extreme Couture. Nice. Yeah. And before that, was was a Cobra guy? Uh, no, no, no. I came here extreme tour, but I, I but I, I, I cross came. I got here. Yeah, yeah. I went to nice. Cobra Kai, did some jujitsu. I go to Drysdale's, do my jujitsu also now. Mm -hmm. and so yeah, I, you know, I'll move around though. Because I, I knew some people. Partners. Yeah, I knew some people from Cobra Kai, and I, I saw your picture in there, and I said, oh, yeah. that's sick. He ride. He trains here. Cool. Yeah. He rides here. <laughs> he trains here. <laughs> and it's, it was pretty cool, man. That's, that's cool. So you're a Vegas boy now. So yeah, this is that's considered it. home now. So. That's it, man. We'll embrace you with with both arms, man. Yeah. I, I'm born and raised here. I'm a local native, so. Nice, nice. There you go. It's nice to have people. This will like be like my involved. sixth fight here now because I did uh, like five or six WCs here at the Hard Rock. Nice. And uh, I'm dying to come back. Well, as far as far as I'm concerned, you're a local native, and uh, you know you're you're a local favorite. So let's make this happen. Absolutely. All right. Good luck, Absolutely. man. Thank you. Hey, thank, thank you very much. much. Take care. Thank you.
Get it done, John Alessio.